Good news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart, you know. Our brother Atiko, he leave the country again. Atibaba, he don't leave again. People know they understand this guy. You. In case you're wondering who Atiko is, he was the former vice president of Nigeria uh, between 1999 and 2007. Himself and Olusegun Obasanjo were yeah, the president and vice president. Yes, he also participated uh, presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party back in 1999. Yes, and also uh, apart from that, he also participated actively in 2023, where INEC declared that he came second in that very said election. Yes, the cases are still with tribunal and they uh, still be decided who won the election. Uh, for now, Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu has been declared the president-elect. So there are a lot of matters and issues bordering around that area. But what are we trying to get at with regards to uh, Alaji Atiku Abubakar? Atiku Abubakar, we contest an election. By the way, he's contested the election more than four times. Five, maybe? Yeah, and... Um, each time, as soon as the elections are over, he will relocate to Dubai. Come again four years after, you know, the the next election. Come, come back four years after, you know, an election is about to take place. So has he also now gone by to Dubai again? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Atiku breaks silence on leaving Nigeria for Dubai after election loss. The presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2023 election, Halaji Atiku Abubakar, has said he will decide if he wants to stay in Nigeria or leave for U U Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, as usual, as he also have a home there. Atiku stated this on Wednesday while reacting to a call by a group of protesters under the alliance of the uh, under the alliance of the natives who asked him and his counterpart in the Labour Party Peter Obi to stay in the country and not leave for exile because Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been declared the winner. In a chat with newsmen during a peaceful protest in Abuja, conveyor of the Natives Smath Edward urged Atiku Obi and other candidates not to abandon the country following the loss of the presidential election. Edward asked the presidential candidate not to embark on a self exile out of frustration, saying that the move is a trademark of any, polit of any politician who is just an opportunist and that's how nigerians sees such an individual according to him the candidate should stay in the country because their talent ability and contribution are needed for the development of the country and they can actively criticize or tell the other government or the government in place what they are doing wrong he therefore appealed to Atiku Obi and other candidates to accept the outcome of the presidential election as declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Speaking with the punch, Atiku Special Assistant on Communication, Farouk Shahib, slammed the protesters for their sponsored protest, saying his principle does not owe the group an explanation on his travel itinerary, when and how, where he goes. Shahib, who stated that the former vice president, the the former vice president, can decide when to come and go, asked the group to call on their principal Bola Metinubu to return to the country who has been in Europe after the election. What exactly is he doing there? He said Atiku does not owe the group any any of his travel details or itinerary. Atiku has his own focus and do whatever he wants to do. Nobody should take this for granted. So these are some of the issues that are happening and going on right now. And you can see for yourself what exactly is going on. Nigerians are 
or watching very critically to understand what's going on and what is happening and cannot just, you know, uh, uh, you know, leave things to chance and just be quiet. The issue here on everything that is happening clearly shows to us that Halaji Atiku Abubakar, you know, of the People Democratic Party, as is customary for him, goes and comes as he pleases. But this is not, you know, this may not be, you know, another this may be another time he wants to leave. So this group, apparently, like Atiku is saying, are being sponsored. Atiku said they are being sponsored by Tinubu, you know, to make a jest of him, okay, T to make a jest of himself and Peter will be. And so Atiku is saying that this group should, they should go and tell their principal that, you know, uh, uh, at large Atiku does not owe, owe them, you know, any explanation as to when he comes and go. You know, since after the election, you know, it's been, you know, since after the election, some people have been looking at it and saying, oh, he will soon leave the, cost, the country as is customary for him. He may still leave the country, but he's saying that where he, whether he, whether he stays or he goes should not be anybody's problem. But again, we're not saying, well, let's look at things more critically and let's get a true reflection of what is happening. Yes, whether he comes and goes is important. Because Nigerians will know and will be able to pick and will be able to discern if he has a love and a heart for the country. You know, we're not saying, I mean, you can live outside the country if you want to, you know, that does, but however, if you only come to the country and your aim is just to be the president, you're not coming in order to see what the government are doing so that you can call. And, uh, you know, even every driver has what we call a blind sight. Even a driver has a blind sight. That's a place he cannot see. Okay, so if if you you are always out of the country, how do you point out to the government their blind sight so that Nigerians, the blind spot, so that Nigerians can move forward? Okay, so that they can they don't they, they pay great attention to what they are supposed to pay attention to. So these are some of the things that are happening, and every single individual is beginning to ask themselves the same question: How did we get here? Just how did we get here? So these are very, very serious matters that needs urgent attention. And every single individual needs to understand, you know, where, where we've been, what's happening and what we need to do and what we need to do in order to move us forward. We can't continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. It doesn't work that way, does it? I beg your pardon. The answer is no. So you cannot do things in the wrong way and you're expecting you know, that, you know, things will just fall in place. So these are some of the issues that are going on and we need to understand it. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Bye for now.